Well, hello there. Welcome back to Red Dead Redemption. Let's meet Hosea. No doubt. I do interesting very well. It's trusting I don't do so well. Please. I know how to work with good people, Seamus. And I work in the right way. We all say that. I never met an idiot that called himself one. Very true. In that case, I'm an idiot. But I know how to get things done efficiently. Look at me. Why would I lie about this? Hi, Isaiah. Uh... This is Seamus. He's our new partner. I ain't no such thing. Prospective new partner, if he likes us. Liking ain't the problem. Trusting is, as I said. Keep your voices down. I don't want my boss hearing. This is a sideline. Of course. Look at us. Honest as the day is long. Exactly. I'll tell you what. Let us prove ourselves. <laughs> prove ourselves? To this clown? What you talking about? Good day, Hosea. Good luck with your business dealings. <laughs> Listen, uh, he's rough and ready and quick with his tongue, but I swear you can trust him and trust me. I'm an old man. You're not old, Seamus. I'm old enough. And you know why I ain't dead? You don't trust idiots. Exactly. We're not idiots. Let us prove it to you. Okay. I'll tell you what. Arthur. Old Bob Crawford and his boys just bought a beautiful stolen stagecoach from upstate. It's in their barn. Now you go get that. And then we can work together. Who's old Bob Crawford? An acquaintance of mine. So you want us to take out your competition? Well, he, he's not just an acquaintance, but a cousin. By marriage. I also want to see if you boys got what it takes. Now, you survived that. Where is he? Well, he's in a farmhouse just northwest of here called Carmody Dell. It's just up the train tracks as you're heading up towards Fort Wallace. There's also some money in that house, but that's your business, not mine. But don't kill nobody. Folks know we ain't intimate no more, and they'll know it was me. But you're fine with us robbing your cousin. By marriage. And yes, I love it. You heard the man. Let's go rob his cousin. By marriage. <laughs> Let's go, girl. Really? Really. Lead the way. He said the place is just northwest of here. Me? You're the one who's been out gallivanting around here. That's what you call it. Well, clearly you... Oh. Ah, great. Wow. Now, I was saying... Wow. Well, clearly you've recovered from your bear encounter. Sorry, horsey. Yeah. feeling about things now what things this place the gang been here a few weeks now good i think better i figured more folks would have cut and run on us given everything that happened like dutch always says a lone wolf don't last long out on the plains he does like to trot that one out people see that especially when they get a few years on them even someone like micah there's a couple of folks I wish had cut and run. Maybe they'd say the same about you. Come on! Yep.
that was a three star so cannot leave it right Let's go. All right, dude. Just wanna try my weapons. How oh, they work? Well, not very good, it seems. On the bison, at least. That must be the place up ahead. We should go on foot from here. Okay. Let's see what we're dealing with. Come on. Mm -hmm. There's the house. I see the barn in the back. Stagecoach has to be in there. Okay, let's take a quick look at the place. Now, I'll head over, distract him by putting on a little show while you sneak into the house, find what you can, then get the stagecoach. Or wait until nightfall. Sneak in, then I'll get the coach. You can try the house. What do you think? Let's wait. Okay, let's go. Sure. You go into the house. I'll go find this wagon.
situation man baby let's go These guys don't have. These guys don't have a lock system or what? Let's go. Let's go. problems the better right now just need to get this back to Seamus in one piece and it's a good night's work yes. so one what piece. were you able to lift from the house a few bits and pieces nothing too fancy well we need anything we can get right now this was easier than hunting a thousand pound grizzly anyway <laughs> no doubt oh, shit. I won't forget that in a hurry I'm looking for that was close retelling of that one around the campfire. It wasn't the first time Mr. Matthews had stared death in the eye, and as usual, he did not flinch. Yeah, exactly. How long you think we're gonna stick around here for? Not sure. Till we can't, I suppose. Feels like we're starting to get back on our feet, slowly but surely. Just need to keep at it. Dutch has a new money chest stashed in a safe spot away from camp, but it's a long way from being full. I hope it's not stashed in town like we did in Blackwater. Even if we had to dump the money from the ferry, we could have at least got the rest out if it was hidden someplace else. We a lot of aim for the week. You ain't gotta tell me. So, here's something strange. Seamus was telling me how he also makes these little trinkets for people from animal claws, teeth, and such like. Good luck charms. What? Like a rabbit's foot? Okay, here we are. Just pull the coach into the barn there. Hello, Seamus. We met your cousins. How was it? Fine. Nice people. <clears throat> Park that thing in here. Quickly. Uh, nice work, Hosea. It was mostly Arthur. Like I said, coarse but competent. Here. 
Thank you. If you find any other coaches that need selling, I'll see what I can offer you for them. But discreet, you know. Of course. Goodbye, gentlemen. I'm heading back to camp, I think. You coming? Sure. Hello, Arthur. Oh, Mr. Morgan! I've jotted down a few things that I think could be uh, nice additions around here. With hope. And dreams. I reckon I'm gonna think about it. Well done, Mr. Morgan. Hey, Karen. Many thanks. You'll be able to make something nice with that. Thank you, Arthur. This camp could do with a few improvements. Why don't you take a look at my idea? I'll see you in the morning. Appreciate it, Pearson. When I was in the army, and uh, we was out on patrol, we couldn't light no fires. 
See, our captain had a spirit. Bustle, bustle, he set a lit fire, would just bring the engines on us that much quicker. Our can is full, but you only brought out, and then our no fire brought the wolves on us. Dancing yes, sir. The so there we were at night. Young Miss Either cold or cold. Stop the minuets at red. But we go better when we've brought our four tack to cat head. But we go better when we've brought our four tack to cat head. Come bustle, right. bustle, drink about I know what you boys are thinking. Be. But I don't plan it easy. Cold, we'll pump it out you know what, why don't you try yourselves a couple night out on when the prairie, surrounded by savages trying to eat you alive, and we'll see who the real man is. That's all I'm saying.